Today, we'll be going in depth on how to create an advanced alert and only get notifications when one of our stocks actually meet our buy or sell criteria. The entire point of this being to save you time and only get notified when you'd actually want to place a trade. Now to make sure you really get the hang of it, we will be doing an example using an individual stock as well as setting up those exact same alert notifications but for an entire set of stocks. So please feel free to use those timestamps down below if you did need to jump ahead. But jumping right into a practical example, let's say you're a swing trader who likes to use the simple moving average as a way to gauge the overall trend of the stock. But you also like to combine that with the MACD or moving average convergence divergence to actually find your buy or sell signal. Well, within Thinkorswim, we can actually create an alert specifically for that and only be notified when it actually happens, rather than just sitting here and watching the stock the entire day. So using this stock we're looking at as an example, let's say we only wanted to be alerted when the stock was in a downtrend, but then only actually get the alert when there's a MACD crossover above the zero line basically giving us a sell signal using those two indicators. Now looking back in time a little bit on this specific chart, you can actually see there is a perfect example of when I would have wanted to be notified. Right here, the stock is below the 200 SMA and the MACD has had a crossover while above the zero line. Now again, you guys can use any studies or combinations of studies that you want, but this is our example for today's video, and please don't get too overwhelmed if it seems very confusing. That is completely normal. It's a lot to take in. But in order for us to actually create that advanced alert, all we have to do is put our mouse anywhere on the chart here and simply right click. We'll then come to the right and look down in this drop down menu and find the button mark create alert and simply click on that. We'll then get the alerts pop-up window, and I won't lie to you, this is gonna be a little bit confusing if you're seeing it for the first time, but to turn it into a study alert, we will come up here towards the top to the button marked mark, and just go ahead and click on that. We'll then look in the list below and find the button mark study at the very bottom, then come to the right and select edit because we wanna create our own brand new alert. Once we get the new menu to pop up, we will simply come up here to the top right and simply delete whatever's in here, then come over here to the right and add the condition. And we're gonna be adding these one at a time. So the very first condition we're looking for is the price of the stock to be below the 200 SMA. So going through this pretty quickly, we'll select a condition. It's gonna be a pricing condition based off the closing value. We'll then come over here to the right and say is less than. We can then select a condition. It's gonna be a study condition and we're specifically looking for the simple moving average and specifically the 200 simple moving average. So we'll type in 200 right here. Now that we're done with that, we'll come down here and hit save. And now we need to add the next two conditions, which is gonna be the MACD crossover. So to do that, we'll come back up here and add another condition. We'll come up here and select a condition. It's gonna be a study condition, and we're gonna be specifically looking for the MACD. So M-A-C-D and click on it in the list below. Coming down here, I'm actually gonna leave this set to the value line, which is really the MACD line. And for this one, we're gonna be looking for the MACD line to have crossed below the signal line. So since we're looking for it to have crossed below, we'll come over here and select crosses below, then select a condition, a study condition, MACD once again. But this time we're gonna come down below and flip it from the value line to the average line, which is really just the signal line. Now again, I'm happy with this, so we'll come down here and hit save, and now we just need to add one more. So coming back up here to the top, we're gonna add another condition, we're gonna select a condition, and it's gonna be a study condition once again. We're gonna look for MACD just like before, and for this one, we're actually looking for the MACD to be above the zero line. Now since that's the case, we'll come over here and select is greater than, we're gonna select a condition, this time it's gonna be a value, and this time it's gonna be a value of zero, because all we want is the MACD to be above the zero line. So now looking here, we actually have three separate conditions within here, right up here at the top, and if we actually wanted to create this, we'll come down here and hit okay, and we'll just make sure it says the study is true. So now what I'm essentially saying is I wanted to be alerted if AMD is ever trading below its 200 SMA and the MACD line crosses below the signal line while being above the zero line. Now again, I know that sounds very confusing, but let me come down here and hit create. What we're essentially looking for is a condition just like this to happen again. So here you can see the stock price is again below the 200 SMA. And you can see the MACD line, which is the blue line, has crossed below the signal line, which is the gold line. 
So now if that were to ever happen on AMD, I'm gonna get a notification right to my phone. And then I could come here and say, hey, it's time to short AMD, or I wanna buy a put on AMD, whatever it might be. But besides creating an alert for a specific stock, what I really love about Thinkorswim is that we could actually incorporate this into a scan and then set up an alert based off of that, really automating the entire process. So let's say, for example, I wanted an alert like that for all companies in the S&P 500 that meet some other basic criteria. So now to build that, we will come up here to the scan tab at the very top of our page. We're going to make sure we're in the stock hacker section and down here below, you can actually see I've got a couple filters already in here. So right now I'm looking for the stock to trade over a dollar and the average volume to be over a million shares a day. To also specify that I only want this to look at companies in the S&P 500, we'll come up here to the upper left hand corner where it says scan in all stocks and click on that. We can then come down below where it says public S through W, then come to the right and click on S&P 500. So now what I'm essentially saying is I only want this scan to look at companies in the S&P, but also trade over a dollar and trade over a million shares a day. But now that we got that basic criteria, let's go ahead and add those same exact study indicators that we used in the previous example. So to do that, we'll come up here to the upper right hand corner. And for this one, I'm actually going to do any of the following because later down the line, I might also want to add one for the bull signal as well. So coming over here to the right and selecting add a filter next to any of the following, we'll come down here and select study. You'll then notice the default study filter that pops up here is ADX crossover. So we'll come over here to the left and click on that. We'll then come down to the very bottom and select custom. That'll then open up the pop-up where we can actually set the filters we want to use. So first off, let's come over here and delete whatever's in here, just like before. We'll then come down in the lower left and start adding those conditions we just used. Starting off with using the simple moving average just like before, I'm going to be looking for the price of the underlying to be below the 200 SMA, so is less than, study, simple moving average. We'll then specifically make this the 200 SMA just like before. Come down here and hit save, and now I just need to add those additional two filters. So here we'll add a condition. We're going to select a condition. Remember, just like before, we're doing it exactly the same. And this is what's going to take a little bit of practice to get the hang of. I promise you with enough repetition, you will get the hang of it, but this does not come easy to most people. So again, what I'm essentially saying with this one is I'm looking for the MACD line to have crossed below the signal line. And now the only other thing I need to do is look for it to be above the zero line. So again, you see I'm adding a study condition. It's MACD just like before. It's going to be is greater than a value condition greater than zero. Now that I'm done with that, we'll just come down here and hit save. And now you can see those three conditions that we just added. Just like before, I'm saying I want the stock to be below its 200 SMA, indicating it's probably in a downtrend. I also only want to look for stocks where the MACD line has recently crossed below the signal line, and that MACD line has to be above zero. So now that we're happy with that, we'll just come down here and hit OK. And now if I came up here and hit scan, it's only going to show us stocks that meet that criteria right now. So here we can see HIG, Lowe's, and Gilead. But we're not done yet. What we need to do now is actually save this as a custom scan. So come up here to the top right hand corner, hit these three little lines, save scan query. And for this one, I'm just going to name it SMA MACD cross. And now when I come down here and hit save, what that does is it saves it as a custom watch list. And now if I come over here and open up my side panel over here on the left hand side, then if I were to come down here and add a brand new watch list by hitting this little plus sign, selecting watch list, I could actually come up here and flip this over to the watch list that we just made. So coming up here to personal, and then selecting SMA MACD cross. And now this is a scanner in my watch list, constantly updating, only showing me those companies that meet that criteria right now. Now, finally, in order to actually set up an alert base off this, I would just come over here to the name of the watch list again, then come up here to where it says alert when scan results change. Now from there, it's going to ask us, when do we want to be alerted? And by default, it says whenever a symbol is added to this watch list. So now what it's essentially saying is anytime a new company meets our criteria, we will get notified and I could get a text message, an email, a push notification. It doesn't really matter, but now I don't have to sit here and watch my stocks all day. I'll just get notified 
whenever something meets my buy or sell criteria. So now if I come over here and hit create, I now have that alert working on my Thinkorswim platform. To double check how my alert notifications are set up, I would just come up here to the setup menu in the upper right, come down below to application settings. I'll make sure I'm on the notifications menu and then come down here to where it says alert is triggered. And in this case, you can see I've got a sound on trigger and I've got push notifications set up for my phone. To add a phone number, I would just come up here and hit add number or to add an email address. And then I could check mark that I want to get an email or a text message. But in my case, I am happy with the push notifications. So I would just come down here and hit apply settings. Now I could also make that just for a specific watch list as well. So if you come over here, you can see I've got this options watch list. These are some of the companies that I like to track most actively and trade most actively. So if I wanted these alerts to look at these specific stocks, I could come back over here to the scan tab, come up here to the top where it says scan in, then come down below in the personal section and I could actually select this options watch list. So now the alert that I just set up looking for stocks below the 200 SMA and a MACD crossover, it's now cross referencing that against this watch list that I made way, way back in time. But that's going to be the basics of how to create a much more advanced alert within Thinkorswim. And again, you guys can create alerts for anything. We just use the SMA and MACD since it's pretty popular and fairly simple to do. But I do know it was a lot to take in. Hopefully after all that, you do feel a lot more comfortable with creating advanced alerts within here, or at least know what's possible. If you do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you are looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next video.